All right, today I'm gonna give a Webflow workshop and I'm actually pretty nervous about this. This is an adaptation of the workshop I did in Yosemite a few months ago, but then I have three days of two hour session to teach Webflow from scratch. And today I'm gonna try to cram all of that into one day and actually try to teach more things. So I'm kind of afraid that I'm trying to this will be too mind-blowing for people who see Webflow for the first time. I want to go quickly over the deck that I'm going to go with them. It's going to be divided into kind of components where I teach stuff and then they practice and then try stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to cover everything from how to use Webflow, how to do layout into interactions and using the CMS. This is a lot of information, so it's going to be intense. Let me quickly show you the presentation. So. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but basically I'm just gonna tell them that Webflow is a very powerful tool to build for the web. This is the structure of the web of uh, the workshop. I'm just gonna start by explaining basic HTML and CSS because a lot of the people won't necessarily know or understand how the internet works. So I teach them how it's structured, what is HTML, what is CSS. So HTML basically is the structure of how things are on the page. CSS is the styling that makes it look good. Uh, I'm going to give them the basic Webflow tools. I'm going to talk to them about the box model, how what is padding, margins, how everything is structured, about cascading from styling to the responsiveness. And then I'm going to let them try to build this very simple page in Webflow. We're going to do this together. This is pretty simple. Now this, the layout, I think this is the thing that I scare most about because I'm going to try and cover everything from the display setting, which how does each of them work, what do they do, into how Flexbox works, which is super, super complicated. Um, but I'm going to try to do that with people who never heard about this. And then how all the positioning works, what do they do, what is the difference between them. So I'm pretty sure at this point they'll be like overwhelmed with information. This is the thing that scares me most but I'm gonna try and demo and, and take them step by step and hopefully even if they don't remember everything they'll know how to experiment with them and what to look for and know that those capabilities are do exist um, so I'm gonna try to build this uh, nice website of pixel snap and then I'm gonna let them try the Flexbox game that Webflow created. I think this is a wonderful way to learn how to use the most powerful tool, the Flexbox, which I think is amazing. And Webflow created the great tool to learn how to use it. And I'm gonna try let them try and play with it. Then I'm gonna try to teach them interaction. I took this um, simple project that Webflow had clonable here. They've created the Apple WWDC logo here on, on Webflow completely from CSS. So I'm going to try to create a lot of interactions on this logo. I think this will be a fun game to play uh, and a way to learn interactions. Then I'm going to teach them the CMS. I'm going to ask them if they want me to build a blog or build a portfolio. And we're going to try and do that live very, very quickly. And then I'm just going to let them play and build the website that they want to play. Uh, I've, I've asked the participants in the workshop to bring a website that they want to design. So hopefully we'll have kind of an hour and a half where everyone tries to build their own website. I'm going to hang around between them, try to help them see that they understand all the concept that we've discussed previously. I'm super excited. I, and, and this time it's not organized by somebody else. I had to rent the venue, sell the tickets. And so, you know, plan the food, coffee, and everything. So I hope everything will be fine. Some of the participants I know, and they're all time friends, which I haven't seen in a while, which will be exciting. Some of them I don't know. So I really hope they're gonna enjoy and learn a lot. Let's rock and roll.
Okay, so the workshop is now over. It was really, really intense for me to stand up for like seven hours and just talk. But I think it was really good. I think people enjoyed it and I was really proud to see that by the end of the day, people were already building up their own website and implementing their vision. One thing that I got feedback on, which I completely haven't thought about, was the fact that because I was trying to cram so much information, you know, the basic layouts and advanced layout with flag box and the CMS and interaction, it was too much for one day and perhaps I should have done it like three days, like a three-day workshop or kind of a course with few, few times that we meet just because it was just trying to put out a lot of effort in one day and also seven hours is really intense on the brain for me but also for them. So maybe if I'll do this next time, I will do like today was seven hours, so I'll do maybe three, four hour sessions or something like that. Might be a good feedback and actually a way for me to make more money off this. Even though this was pretty profitable for me because it was 25 people paying $200, so it was pretty pretty good for one day. And there was, I actually limited for 25 people because, and there was kind of a waiting line for more people because I wanted to have attention for everybody and that I will be able to answer everybody's question so I might do another round but I'm not sure it just takes out so much energy I enjoy it but it, it's really exhausting I just want to go to sleep right now anyway hope you guys are having a great day have a great weekend I'll catch you next week